I have to. No. I'm gonna do it. No. <laughs> no. I have an issue. Come with me downstairs. I have an addiction to pulling fire alarms. Come on. We're gonna go downstairs together. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Benny. If you were to go to Washington, D.C., and if you were to rip down emergency signs from an emergency exit on a door, yank the fire alarm in the middle of a federal building during federal proceedings, then you would be called a terrorist. Then they would put you in shackles, and you probably would never see the light of day as a free man or woman ever again in your life. But you, of course, wouldn't be a Democrat. You see, if you're a Democrat and you're a member of Congress and your name is Jamal Bowman, you're a socialist insurrectionist, then you are able to, as I will show you right here in this security video, walk up, rip both security signs down from the door and pull the fire alarm. That's what you just saw there. You just saw him. There he goes. He's walking in. We'll do the uh, little laser pointer thing here. He's walking in. He sees these are the emergency signs. He rips one down. He rips another down. And then he pulls the fire alarm there. That is the play-by-play, uh, -play, ESPN play-by-play -play here. I, I wish I had a little magic marker and I could show you. That is what happened. Jamal Bowman did this in the middle of a vote for funding of the government, which the Democrats were trying to stop from moving forward. So Jamal Bowman obstructed an official proceeding. Jamal Bowman obstruct, like pulled the fire alarm and uh, spawned an emergency inside of a federal building. This is six months in prison, according to federal DC statutes. Bizarre video shows New York Congressman Jamal Bowman taking down the red warning signs on a door where he pulled the fire alarm. Capitol Police have concluded an investigation. Bowman, has pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor and will pay a thousand dollar fine. But like, why would you do this? What like why? There is no explanation other than Jamal Bowman was trying to cause a scene and to stop Congress from voting. And this was what happens when you let the theater kids into Congress. We've been warning about this. What happens when the theater kids get to Congress? The theater kid, you know, the moody, like uh, driven entirely by their emotions, not logical, not a high, not a high IQ, uh, uh, prone to throwing temper tantrums and spazzing and going to Hot Topic and shopping in the discount section of Gadzooks and Hot Topic. Total losers, acne face degenerates, and slobs. What happens when those people get elected to Congress? Because those are the kind of people that universities are producing. Those are the kind of people that are pumping out into society. New clip shows Democrat rep pulling down the warning signs, knocking over, knocking another one over in an incident that led to criminal charges. So this is in Cannon House office building during a vote in September. Squad member insisted he didn't mean to pull the fire alarm. Is that why your statement that uh, the fire alarm was an accident? You know, I don't know why this has gotten so much attention. I was oh, literally why? just in a rush to go vote, man. That's all it was. Are you afraid of any repercussions, either from leadership or from legally from Capitol Police? I, I mean, listen, I take responsibility for what I did, you know, but like I said, I was in a rush to go vote, and, uh, you know, the investigation will, will, will sort everything else out. Uh, have you talked to Jeffries about it? Oh, yeah, of course. That's day one. Yes. How was that conversation? Well, I got to keep that between me and the leader, so I'm not going to share that publicly. Yeah, uh -huh. but we've been in touch with each other. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. Well, let's go ahead and have a look here from a former member of Congress. What do they have to say? Justin Amash. I like Justin Mosh. This is not confusing at all. There's a push bar on the door below the sign. Members of Congress see these signs all the time and they know exactly what they mean. I can't even imagine thinking that this has something to do with the fire alarm pull on the wall. Stop excusing the recklessness. Again, he decided to push on the door. The doors wouldn't open. He ripped down the signs and then he pulled the fire alarm. So what, what, what will happen next? Congressman Troy Nels saying, remove the warning signs, pull the fire alarm, didn't even try and open the door. How is he not obstructing an official proceeding? Where are the actual real federal charges here? Over 300 January 6th defendants have been charged by the feds and, and given multi-year sentences for obstructing an official government proceeding. It's also one of the charges that Jack Smith brought against Donald Trump. Now we know why Jamal Bowman pulled the fire alarm to deliberately stop a congressional vote. Wow. Well, I mean, this does absolutely seem dead to rights that Jamal Bowman lied in his statement. Video of Jamal Bowman pulling the fire alarm to stop a vote has been released. The initial statement, Bowman claimed that he was just rushing to get to the vote and did it by accident. The video shows him removing the warning signs and not even attempting to open the door. There you go. There they go. There goes the warning signs. I mean, you can see it. 
By the way, if you know anything about Congress, and I reported on Capitol Hill for a decade, uh, you know that there's tunnels for members of Congress to get to the Capitol building. The House office buildings are away from the actual Capitol building. That's famous. Very few people have their offices inside the Capitol. You have to be like high up leadership in your party to have an office in the Capitol. And so members of Congress need to walk to the Capitol building to vote, and they need to take a tunnel. So you just had to take the tunnel. Why is he even trying to do this? It doesn't make any, it really doesn't make any sense. So there's a criminal summons for Jamal Bowman, charge of a false alarm, but Jamal Bowman has been able to skirt this charge, of course, because it's one big club and you're not in it. Yourself, you can see Bowman here casually walks up to into the Cannon Rotunda emergency doors. He then takes down those warning signs on those doors and then pulls the fire alarm and walks away. He does not appear to be in a rush. And this happened, as you'll remember, when Democrats were trying to stall a vote on a GOP bill to fund the government. Well, we caught up with the congressman, and while he's been very, very chatty before, he did not want to talk to us today. That's in the past, man. Litigated and resolved. You still talking about this? It looks like it was. It's in the past, man. I'm not yeah. talking about that anymore. Let's talk about moving forward. It didn't Let's look talk like about serving the American on the people. Video. Come on, man. Is there any reason why you didn't try to open the door after you pushed the fire alarm? So this morning, Bowman pleaded guilty to a misdemeanor in D.C. court, and he says he struck a deal that will clear him if he pays a $1,000 fine, writes an apology letter, and stays out of trouble for three months. Now, some Republicans are calling foul on this. They say that there's a clear double standard in the justice system. We asked Speaker Mike Johnson if there should be an ethics investigation now with this new video. Here's what he told me. And what about Joel Bowman? We'll, we'll, deal with that. we'll deal with that, says the speaker. So we will continue to watch this play out. Brett? We'll follow it. I There's only one guy who had the right take here, and it was Troy Nels, one of our favorite members of Congress, holding up a bunch of hand handcuffs. I don't know if Troy Nels actually holds up handcuffs. Like if he travels with handcuffs everywhere he goes, how do you get a pair of handcuffs? But this is great. Jamal, are you ready? <laughs> Hey, Alex, any idea what this does? Jamal Bowen was a former principal. These are the quality of people that are raising your children in federal schools. And once again, the best response to all of this was the legend George Santos making this video a very important explainer. Hi, boys and girls. This is Congressman George Santos. This here is a fire alarm. If you lift this part here and pull this down, you trigger an alarm. Don't do it. Stay good, kids. <laughs> so here you go. This is what you can do if you're a Democrat in Washington D.C. What do you think we? What do you think we do on this program? Like, what, what's the point of what we do here? We are railing against this. This is just an insult to you. They know what they're doing. They are. This is designed to piss you off. It is designed to tell you that you have no power and that they can do whatever they want and you can't stop them. Can we? Is that a challenge? Jamal Bowman should be in prison. Jamal Bowman should be in shackles. He should be treated the same way that anyone else would be treated if they were to do this. Same way that I would be treated, you would be treated, Jamal Bowman. They're all the same. We have no kings. We have no king, kings, queens, no aristocracy in this country. We are founded on the idea that these people are not only the same of us, they're technically lower than us because they we tell them what to do, right? Like they work for us. So they should actually have more penalties than if someone like me did it because they actually work in the building. Is that going to happen? We'll keep asking. We'll keep pushing. Clearly, Jamal Bowman lied. He didn't try and open the door. He wasn't in a rush. And he knocked over the signs and then yanked the fire alarm. Scum. Theater kid scum. We'll keep hustling. Stay on this story. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. And don't pull the alarm. See ya.